All right, today I've got a call for a train package unit. Not cooling, uh, it won't even turn on. Uh, this is a seven and a half ton package unit. It is three phase, 208, 230 volt. Uh, so let's start digging in and see what's up here. Alright, I got the control section open here. Start by checking power. Oops. Like I said, this is three phase. So, let's see if we got that first. I saw the disconnect was on. Uh, one and three, I got 205. Two and three, two oh five, one and two, point five. All right, so all right, so we'll check them to ground three, one eighteen, two, one eighteen, and one, one eighteen. But don't let that fool you because. We've got all these other wires going on here, so it's probably back feeding. So let's go over to the disconnect and check that out. All right, here we go. Ready? So we got fuses in here. So we'll make sure we get the same thing. Reading one and two, 205. Three, two oh five, and two and three, two oh five. So we're good there. So next, we'll check the fuses. One's good. Two, we got overload or open line you want to say so that fuse is open and three closed all right so we got a bad fuse here um, let's just check to ground it's open open and to three we're open all right so so no direct short right there We'll dig a little deeper here. All right, so we want to do this check. It's got two compressors in it. I'll pull both plugs just to make sure we don't have a, a grounded out compressor. Um, I'm get a, got my lead hooked up to the panel there. Nothing. 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 This one. Nothing, nothing, nothing. And we definitely have good ground, so I know that's good. All right, let's one more step. All right, so we'll just ohm the compressor out uh, to the windings, to make sure it's three phase, so we should be fairly equal. 0.9, 0.9. Again, uh, not on the ground, so that one's good. Let's check the other one. All right, this one's a little tighter to get in there and film. We're on it. All right, this one is one. This is also a different size compressor. This one is the smaller. This is the three and a half ton. So they all foam out equally, do it to ground. Trust me, I'm grounding nothing. Okay, so this is good news so far. All right, let's look at those contactors. 
All right, I got the contactors open. We're still off over there. Nothing's welded. Nothing looks burnt or pitted. All right, so remember we had center fuse was bad. I'm just gonna change them all because that's not the right thing to do. Yeah, that's my Gerber fuse puller. Right. This just point them out so that you can see the next time. Don't throw the fuses in there with the glass facing the other way. All right, let's kick it on. I heard a bell. Right. So let's. Stage just kicked on here. Of course, I got to do the up to the other circuit. Give it a minute here, kick on the other stage. Alright, so I got both compressors are running, blowers running, fans running. L2, we're almost 33 amps. L3, 28 and a half, L1, 31, so number two is the one that blew, wires look good in there, alright we've been running a few minutes here, um, I went ahead and hooked up the other uh, compressor, another set of gauges, so this is stage one, uh, we're at got any long gauges today. It's a little over 70 and head pressure 375 and then our stage 2 here is 60 and we say 360. So, and it's R22 so that head pressure is on the high side. You can see what temperature. These coils good on here but they are a little impacted with some dirt so I'm thinking there's some corrosion on the bottom. Probably need to go ahead and wash them. Probably bring down the amp draw and the head pressure. So let's give that a try. Still running pretty high head pressure for R22. Um, but got both circuits running, so I think we'll uh, clean these coils. Probably see a difference. Here we go. Yeah, look at this. After running another 15 minutes, our amp draw has gone up pretty close to that fuse rating. 41, 43, 39. Just gonna double check that the size of the fuse is required for this unit. I have a feeling it'll come back down once we get it clean. Uh, it's pretty hard to make out here, but I can kind of see. It looks like our max fuse might be 50 amps. Uh, we're running 45s, but pretty close to what we got. Let's see what happens when we clean this thing up. All right, shut it down.
There is something satisfying about seeing dirt roll off the condenser coil. I don't know what it is. Don't forget the corners too. You can get that piece out. Dirt's in there too. Oh yeah. Alright, since we got the hose out, we'll rinse off this evaporator. It's not a rooftop unit, so you don't have to worry about flooding out below. It's a little better than what we started with. And there's no coil cleaner or anything, just straight water. Alright, we got that cleaned up. Let's fire it up and see how we do. Oops. Give it a few minutes here to run and dry out. See where our pressure's land. Alright, back on both stages. Coil's still wet, so our pressures are really falling. So let it run here for a few minutes and dry out that coil. Uh, remember we were somewhere around 375 on head pressure. Let's see what our hands are doing. Obviously low right now because our pressures are low. I think I can bump up these fuses to 50s. Let's see if we can get it to hang in there with these 45s. Alright, we're starting to dry out here. Pressures come down considerably. Head pressure. We're about 270 on stage one, 55 both side. Stage two, we're 255 on the high side. Just about 52 on the low. So still just a little damp. But I think this is going to make the difference in keeping this unit running. There's no icing up right now. It's got those fixed metering devices in the coil. So I'll uh, just keep monitoring it here. Looks like we're on the right path. And our amps are uh, 32. Turn or the thermostat, it's reading 76, and we're reading 76, so pretty close. All right, so I think we're settling out about here. I've got my testos clamped on the suction lines, taking some super heat readings. Um, temperature wise, we're roughly about 20 degrees super heat right now. may ha have some uh, restricted metering devices but you know at this point the unit's pretty aged we'll probably end up having to replace it uh, but this uh, is definitely looking better let's check out those amps still hanging out 33 I think we're going to button this one up and uh, just let her go. Back online, back cooling, and cleaner. So yeah, it's cooling for now. And uh, I'm just going to let it go with this. Uh, it is an aged unit. It's 2006 R22, 7.5 ton. 
package unit. All right, thanks for watching. Hopefully this helps you out in uh, troubleshooting seven and a half ton train package unit. All right, see you in the next video.